What's up, people of the internet? It's 6.17 p.m. I'm home by myself. No, not by myself. My siblings are here, but they're busy. I'm going to be doing a video blog about someone who I've been meaning to talk about for a while. Um, before I get started, I have to state a rule. No negativity. No bashing. No rude comments. This is a positivity show. I don't like negativity. And... No negativity towards me or the subject of this vlog. Any negativity, I will come find you and beat you silly. My friend Shelly says I have her permission to do that. Hey Shelly, love you. Haven't finally doing this video. I know you wanted to see it. So, so I'm a big fan of X Factor, both the original version from the UK and of course the version here in America. But the version I'm going to be talking about is the UK version. I've watched it on and off since season six, but last season I really started following it closely. It's currently in the ninth season. There is one contestant every year on these shows that I never shut up about. Ask my best friend Jason. I never shut up about them. Any any of these shows, but yeah, there's a lot of shows going on right now, but the UK X Factor has the one I never shut up about. And this person is Christopher Maloney. He's 34 years old. He's from Liverpool. Sorry, I'm twirling my hair. It's a nervous habit. <laughs> it's a nervous habit. Yeah, he was not, Christopher was not originally picked for the top 12, but was voted in by the public as a wild card. They, each judge picked a wild card from their category, and he ended up, and then the British public voted for one. Sorry, I'm twirling my hair a lot. It's just, like I said, it's a nervous habit. Yeah, anyway, yeah, he first auditioned in Liverpool, and he sang The Rose by Bette Midler, and he was nervous as all hell. Basically how I would be if I ever auditioned for the shows, and I have considered auditioning for the U.S. X Factor, but I don't even know if I will. And, yeah, yeah, but he was nervous as all hell, and his hands were shaking so bad that he could hardly hold the mic. Yeah, check out my silver nail polish, I borrowed this from my sister. Sorry. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, he sang The Rose by Bette Midler, and oh my god. Yeah. You need to see it to believe it. I will put a link down below. Um, but it is amazing. Yeah. He's, he's 34 years old, and my, I showed this to my sister, Beatrice, who has done a few videos with me. And she's in the shower right now, so that's why she's not doing this video right now this video with me, but if she comes out, maybe she'll join me. But she basically had the same reaction as the judges. She couldn't believe that that voice came out of him after he was very, very nervous. Yeah. It's now week seven of the competition. No, no. Week seven was last week. This is week eight. You know, they're performing tomorrow. They're doing two songs, and I'm really excited. Yeah, Christopher is still there. He's the last remaining of the over 28s. And their mentor is Gary Barlow of the group Take That. Yeah, he's a very good singer, and he's doing a good job. He's done a good job as a judge last year. He mentored the boys in this year. He is the over 28s. Mm. Yeah, but Christopher's doing a good job. Yeah, he's, yeah. I watch all of his videos. I watch all the performances. I watch his little Samsung video diaries. So check out, check, check them out at youtube.com slash the X Factor UK. And it has every contestant's performance. Oh, shoot, I almost dropped the computer there. Yeah, I'm on a borrowed computer right now because my webcam's not working. Let me get a drink here. Water, it's good for the soul. <laughs> but, you know, Christopher's done seven songs. They're mostly, like, these big power ballad things, power ballad numbers, and... He's done a pretty good job. You know, the, even the up-tempo ones I've liked. You know, there was, there was one that was a little bit questionable. I, you know, when he sang I'm Still Standing by Elton John, it was a little bit karaoke, but I still watch it. Still watch it just because I'm a loyal fan. And he has a, and of course he has a Twitter, and he takes time to tweet his fans. And I'm not sure if the other acts on X Factor take time to tweet their fans, but Christopher does. Yeah, and he's replied to me a bunch of times, and he's really, really sweet. Yeah, he's a great guy. And 
He's given me advice about auditioning for the U.S. X Factor. He's told me, just go for it. Like, but I don't know. Yeah, I get mixed reactions to my singing, so... Sorry, I keep twirling my hair. It's like a nervous habit that I have. I, I don't, you know, like I never, I've never bitten my nails. I don't bite my nails. I don't. I do sometimes. Yeah, that's not important right now. Anyway, Christopher. <laughs> yeah, as Jason, I never shut up about Christopher. And he's actually a very sweet guy. And yeah, he's gotten some negative press over in the UK and that he's a, people call him a diva or big headed or saying his nerves aren't real. I don't believe in any of that. And I always say I don't believe it until I see it, and I haven't seen it yet. So, because he takes the time to tweet his fans. And my question to you for people who are fake, if you, for the people who say he's faking his nerves, how would you feel if you were performing in front of at least 60,000 people? I'd be scared to death. And I think everybody gets nervous before... They perform like, oh, what if I mess up? Oh, what if I trip? What if something falls and lands on my head? I don't know. But, yeah. Sorry, I'm rambling, but I'm twirling my hair again. <laughs> yeah, it's a nervous habit. So, anyway, someone's coming out here. Hey, Leo. Doing the video. So, um, sorry, I got distracted. My brother came out here, and he's you know, he's not appearing in the video right now. So, but anyway, yeah, and I see people being really mean to him on Twitter or Instagram or any social network. But of course, we always rise to defend him. Go team Maloney. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to ignore it, but I do my best to. Because when someone, yeah, mess with some, me, I can deal with it. Mess with someone I care about, I will come over there and bite your face off. No, not bite your face off, rip your face off. Biting your face off is what the aliens in the alien movies do, but that's for another video. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, but anyway, that's all I have to say for now. I've been meaning to do this video for a while. I haven't gotten around to it. And check out my new ring. I just bought this on Friday. It's got it for for no, not no, not this coming Friday. I bought it a week ago, but I will. I probably will be doing a Black Friday haul at some point. So, and my birthday is next week, so I'll do a birthday haul at some point. And I have a few other videos coming up. So, thanks for taking the time to watch this. Follow me on Instagram at Silver Moon Sparkling on Twitter at Tila Navel. And follow Christopher on Twitter at Chris Maloney 77 All Right, that's this video. I'm going to be sharing this with Christopher. Hope, hope you like it, Chris. Right. Thanks for watching, and TTYLXOX.